What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Sydney if you are new here and as you can tell from the title we are doing a toned arm workout. So we are incorporating most of the arm muscles and some of the back muscles as well. Um, a lot of girls don't really think to do arms when they're going to the gym, especially when they don't have a specific gym routine already and they're just starting out, but arms are really important to do. They contribute a lot to your physique and looking nice and thin. If you got that stubborn arm flubber, this workout will be perfect for you. And I just think it's really flattering when women have defined arms. It just like kind of makes their body look nice and toned. And also with the back exercises, um, right here are your lats. And when you build muscle there, it kind of makes the illusion of a smaller waist. So that's why upper body is really important because you want to like look proportioned. I think that's all for my intro. Just let me know what kind of workouts you guys want to see. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the workout. So to start this workout, you want to warm up for 15 minutes and then do some stretching. I started the elliptical for 15 minutes. And as you can see, I just did some warm ups and stretches for my arms. So they'll be ready to lift some weights and um, I won't hurt myself in the process. I usually stretch before and after my workout. Um, I just like, I get weird about it if I don't, but definitely stretch afterwards so you're not sore and you don't like hurt yourself. And before I actually started the lifting portion of this workout, um, I did some push-ups. So um, there's no number here, just do as many as you can. Um, I'm still on that girl push-up level. I suck at push-ups, but I've been trying to incorporate them in almost all of my workouts, especially my arm workouts. For the first super set, we are doing tricep dips and going right into tricep extensions. For these tricep dips, when you're lowering yourself, do not let your arms go past 90 degrees. And then keep your elbows um, in line, don't have them going like outward. Um, and really just press up, keep your butt close to the bench. And the farther out you put your legs, the more harder it will be. So have them slightly bent. If you do them completely straight, it's like really difficult. So moving on, we are going to the cable machine um, and you want to do 10 to 12 reps of this as well. Make sure you're not moving your elbows. You want to make this a focused workout for your triceps. Um, after I did a good amount on the heavier weight, I put it back to do a couple more reps to really burn the, mu the muscles out. Um, Honestly, I f forgot to count for this, but if you can do more than 10 to 12 um, with the weight that you put on, you can move to a higher weight at that point. All right, we're moving on to our biceps. So again, you're repeating the two workouts back to back three times. 10 to 12 reps each. And this first one's a squatted bicep curl. I like doing these bicep curls in this way because my elbows will stay um, in the same place and that's the ideal way to do a bicep curl because you don't want to move your elbows when you're doing a bicep curl. And then for the single arm curls, your elbow is staying right next to your waist. I found that both of these workouts are really good stability workouts because in each exercise, your elbows are either on your knees resting, so they're um, they're controlled there. And then again, like with the single arm curls, they're right at your waist, so you're barely moving the elbow too. Next superset involves squat to press, 10 on each arm, back to back and then going into a lateral raise. So you're squatting, putting the weight down to the floor, keeping your back straight, and then it's kind of a momentum move. Instead of doing a clean to push press, you're really just using momentum to get the weight up there. Um, you could do a squat to clean to push press, but um, I really like this one because it gets your heart rate up. 
So you're doing your right arm 10 times and then your left side 10 times and then we're going into lateral raises. So these ones require less weight um, and just spanning out to the side using your shoulders and then doing those about 10 to 12 times. Now for our last superset, we're going back to the cable machine and these two exercises are for our, your back muscles. These are called cable face pulls. You want to do again 10 to 12 of them. So the, these cable face pulls have kind of two steps to them. You just want to retract your back muscles and then pull. And these also work your lats so you're, once you grow them, your waist will appear smaller. So these are bent over rows with a deadlift. So bending over pulling it back, doing the same retract and pull motion, and then a deadlift. Again, 10 to 12 of those, and then repeat it three times. If my college gym had punching bags, I would totally do that as a warm up for this workout, but we don't. But if you have a punching bag, that's also a really good way to get your arms burning and burning some fat before you lift. So I've never done this kind of workout video before where I talk you through it. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I think it would be really helpful because you guys see like the workouts and if you're confused about how to like do it in the right way, I'm here to help. I hope I explained everything in the way that is the most helpful. But yeah. Uh, give this video a like and comment down below what you guys want to see in the future and please subscribe to my channel um, Follow me on Instagram. I do post workouts on there as well. My Instagram will be linked down below All right, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video